Hello everyone, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is another pick a card reading. This reading is what miracles or blessings are coming your way. Okay, so this is a timeless reading. And I do want to mention that my readings are for everyone, okay? And once again, they are timeless and you can choose multiple piles, all right? If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I am open for readings, okay? So let's get started. Option one. Okay, let's see. You guys have this beautiful little horse, this little rocking horse. Two, you have this beautiful little angel with the tree. Three, you have a snowman with gifts. And four, you have the reindeer. All right. So we're going to get started. Let me slowly move these over and remember that they're here. Let's see. Try to remember them in the order they're in. All right, option one, the little rocking horse. I'm gonna set your rocking horse over here to the side. Your first card is Cardinal Medicine, three. It says, thy self bleeds of sacredness and honor fit for the gods. You are worth all the seas and all the skies and all the desires you hold inside. So everything you desire is worth worthy of being yours is what I'm hearing. Three. So you guys might want to look up um, what three means in numerology. You have triple moon. Three. Triple. Three. Something about three, you guys. Embracing. You no, know, they say third time's a charm. So for some of you, if you've been trying something and you have a third time to try it, this could be <laughs> especially for you. But um, for the other few of you, you just want to look up the number three in numerology. And if you start seeing 333, you want to look up the angel numbers. Embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Okay? I just heard feminine healing for some of you. For some of you, it's also going to be healing, um, healing something with a, a feminine figure that's close to you. So let's get some more cards. What blessings are coming your way? All right. I want to shuffle on camera so you guys can kind of see what comes out. We have good luck already showing up. Okay, good luck and happiness. All right. What blessings, miracles are coming to option one, Holy Spirit? Please use your divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light. Oh, there we go. Friendship. Look at that three. In that third energy. Triple moon. For some of you, um, oh, it's it's more than three, but I am getting something about three. So, we know when they say when more than one come together in prayer, it's like your soul family, your soul tribe is starting to come together. It's two birds here, five women here, and a spirit guide in three. Okay, what's at the bottom? Spirit guide. I just said spirit guide. Look at that. So, you have a spirit guide that's coming through empowerment a group that empower, empowers you so you guys have the blessing of soul family soul tribe coming in let's see what else you guys have they're telling me to get tarot for you real quick okay let's see what you guys need to know on the tarot front what miracles and what blessings are coming your way they told me to stop what i was doing just get the tarot okay what blessings are coming your way Wow. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Mm. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So I'm hearing healing. You guys are moving out of hard times. I mean, quickly. If you've been struggling or just worried... There's going to be balance brought into your life and your healing. Yeah, burdens are being released. You're moving forward. You're healing. 
You're healing. That's what I'm hearing. You're healing. Move forward. Move forward. You're healing. Wow. So, I'm hearing coming into calm waters. Like, the, the waters have calmed. Things will get better. That's what I'm hearing. Things are getting better for you. And you're going to be brought... I'm hearing that the right tribe is going to be brought to you. Queen of Swords. So a lot of you are going to also going to be working on um, communication, the way you speak with others. I'm hearing um, any communication barriers, any blockages with communications will be with communication will be healing. You have the Ace of Swords at the bottom. Yeah. So communications will be clearing up. If you've had any issues with communication with friends or family, that's going to be clearing up. Or if you've been trying to connect with your spirit guides, right? That could be clearing up quite soon, okay? So I'm hearing you're going to be connecting more with your emotions and your feelings and letting people know how you feel and why you feel that way. And I feel that this is going to give you a sense of freedom. Like, wow, I was able to really express how I felt. Like, I was really able to open my heart. I'm hearing having a heart-to-heart -heart moment with someone you trust, okay? Or with people you trust, feeling warm, feeling loved, Feeling encouraged is what I'm hearing. Red Cardinals, look them up, you guys. A spirit guide could be sending Red Cardinals to connect to connect with you, to contact you. Eternity, yeah. So infinite love. There's definitely a spirit guide trying to connect with you. Outlook. They're wanting to change your outlook on something. I feel that you will be shifting your, your views quite soon. And this is a blessing. This is a miracle. So you're going to see things in a different light. I'm hearing that John Mayer song. New light, something like that. I think that's what it's called. The aftermath. So in the aftermath of it all is going to be beautiful is what I'm hearing. They're saying focus on your basic needs, the essentials. That's what they're saying. They're going to provide the rest. You just focus on the essentials, okay? Wow. That was kind of blunt. <laughs> just straight to the point. Okay, let's see. What other blessings are coming to you guys? I want to get some time frame cards for you as well. Look, Bluebird Spirit Happiness. You had happiness earlier. You guys are going to be coming into a lot of happiness. They're telling me to move these cards. You're having me do your reading a bit different than what I wanted to do it. <laughs> okay. What blessings and miracles are coming to option one? Your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn and your commitment is being tested. So they're saying stay committed. Don't give up. This is not the time to give up. Keep the faith. Don't be afraid to feel. Don't be afraid to reach out for help or to reach out to communicate. There's a lot with speaking your truth. The throat chakra. New moon and Capricorn first quarter moon. What is at the bottom? We have you are good enough knowing that you are worthy. So there's a lot with self-worth. Knowing that you deserve to reach your goals and to have all your heart's desires. Don't let pride get in your way. So don't be afraid to reach out for help, you guys. I feel that divine help is going to be all around you. I'm, I'm hearing help out of nowhere. Like, out of nowhere. People giving you um, advice. People giving you um, wisdom. That's what I'm hearing. Like, out of nowhere, people are going to just feel, like, drawn to tell you something that can help you. Whoa. Whoa. Honor your feelings, first quarter moon. So the first quarter moon is really symbolic, but we have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. We talked about that. So it's time to communicate. I, I, more, Your heart chakra is going to be opening up. Look, release your blocks. Full moon, full quarter. Look, that's a full moon. Wow. Maybe there is a full moon you need to release on. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blockages. So blockages are being lifted. Your heart work is being paid off. Um, being paid off. Wow. Maybe something's being paid off, you guys. Maybe you guys are going to be able to pay something off. I'm hearing your karmic debt is being paid off. So what it is, is that there's so, certain soul contracts, because karmic isn't a bad word. Um, there's certain soul contracts that you guys signed up to learn when you came here in this lifetime, and you guys are fulfilling those contracts, or you already have fulfilled them. So your commitment is being tested. So release these blockages because you're passing a test and your spirit guides are watching over you and with you. You guys could be receiving messages. I'm hearing through other people from the spirit guides. So your spirit guides could be sending different people to communicate with you. Yeah. One more, please. I want one more for you guys. 
flip cards to get one more. Bingo. See the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. I do feel that you're going to have a, a stronger outlook on wh where it is you want to go. The type of people you want around you. The things you want to feel and experience. You're just going to have a stronger view. And look. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. So you guys are going to be clearing the air. I, that's what I'm hearing. Clearing the air. Getting more focused on the energies you want around you. What you expect from others, what you expect of yourself, you're passing these tests, you're realizing your self-worth and your values, I'm hearing you're, you're setting healthy boundaries, you're connecting the, the 3D with the 5D, you're overall getting in balance and learning how to speak up and express your emotions in a healthy way, what blessings are coming, look, lesson, you, you guys are passing these tests, it's beautiful, because life is a school ground. 11, 11. You guys will look up the numbers. 11, 11. Wow. Life is a school ground. And what has happened in the past didn't break you. It's like the gold filled in the cracks. What What is that called? It's some type of Asian. Um, uh, is it Japanese or Chinese? I can never remember. There's this practice where when something breaks, they mint it together with gold. It's that. Wisdom. Wisdom through mistakes. Life is all about mistakes. It's the biggest school ground. So don't beat yourself up. Look. The head. Logic and evaluation. Clearing the air. Clearing your mind. So some of you guys may even, I'm hearing, be called to go on a retreat. You may somehow be able to go on a retreat somewhere, possibly in nature. Clearing your mind. Look, I said that and look, you have changed. New season of life. That's where you guys are going. It's a new time. I'm here. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me and I'm feeling good. Okay, now. Blessings on blessings and miracles. Look, you have the mind and the heart. Balance. Triple moon. This says embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly, and also your heart and mind. A good balance. I'm seeing the justice scales. So it says emotions and intuition. You guys have a great balance here. And look, you have love at the bottom of the deck. Allow it to pour in and out of you. Wow. So you're going to be receiving love. I'm, I'm really getting um, just unconditional love. A lot of love and a lot of love for yourself. Honoring your feelings. Honoring how you feel about things. It's going to be really beautiful. I'm hearing it's a lot of self-respect that you're stepping into. And when you step into that, you know... You kind of set the tone for everybody else. Like, you know what? I respect myself. I have these boundaries set in place. And no one can, you know, walk all over, you know, walk all over me. No one can take advantage of, you know, my of who, of my of me or my boundaries. You know, I know myself. I know my worth. And it is what it is. I'm just getting you guys feeling more empowered and more confident knowing your worth. Okay, now let's see. Courage. Whoa. You guys have courage. Aspen spirit. Three. Once again, talked about that three. You have spirit guardian of winter retreat. So it could be some type of vacation or some type of retreat out in nature. Remember I said that. And you guys have dragonfly spirit, which is another three. So you have three, three, three. I said that earlier change it's enlightenment you guys could be connected to the fey beings some of you i'm hearing you're going to receive like some in, like i'm hearing serendipitous events especially if you can retreat out in nature i'm hearing things that feel ethereal things that feel magical are going to happen for you you're going to be like what the heck starry night acceptance acceptance of self that's what i'm hearing you guys are going to be so i'm hearing confident you're going to be stepping into your confidence. And that's pretty big. That's huge. I'm hearing a new a new level of confidence. It's just, in fact, I'm hearing a glow up. So something could actually be changing. Um, not just, you know, well, if, if of course, if when it happens on the inside, it affects the outside. So it's not just outside. It's going to be that internal glow up. And I'm just... I'm getting a lot of magical things. It's very ethereal. It's very enchanting. There's a lot with nature here. Um, 
you guys are going to have the courage to really go after the things you want. Look, divine potential at the bottom of the deck. Fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. And that's a big part of your reading, you guys. Let's see. One more card. Please, Holy Spirit. Whoa. Unicorn portal. We have focus your light. Listen for a message. Focus your light. Listen for a message. Your spirit guides are going to be communicating with you guys, guiding you. This is really beautiful, you guys. Listen to your heart. We had that earlier. Awaken psychic abilities. Time. Mm. I just heard time for infinite change, but we have tuned into the infinite. So your psychic ability is a heart and mind connection, that balance. You guys, I feel that your ancestors and spirit guides are going to be guiding you on the next step to take. And it's going to make you feel empowered. In fact, I'm hearing you're going to feel empowered to do the things that you felt you couldn't do. Whoa, like out of nowhere, you're going to be like, you know what? I can do this. Why not? Let's do it. It's just like you're just going to get that. It's like a surge just running through you. You're going to know I, I can do it. Look, be brave and honest, speaking your truth. Working with your heart chakra and your throat chakra, your solar plexus chakra as well. The rose. You guys might want to bring red roses into your space. Father Sky, trust in the unknown because you know you're divinely protected and guided. Okay, what's at the bottom? Wait for important information, the oracle. You guys are tapping more into your spirit, spiritual gifts. Spiritual blessings, psychic abilities, intuition, premonition. I'm hearing prophetic dreams, channeled messages. Oh, this is beautiful. Lightning strike. Like it's going to happen out of nowhere. I'm telling you, it's very ethereal. It's, you guys have like a, a kind of like an ethereal, magical kind of vibe to you right now. And um, um it, it, it's weird. It's like I'm getting some, some interesting energy here. Let's see if I can get some charms for you. What well, blessings are coming to option one? Whoa. That's citrine. That's confidence. Yep. Light. More light. You guys want to work with citrine? We have a family tree healing with your family. Learning more about the family, gifts that are coming, Eye of Horus, protection. That's also the third eye chakra awakening. You guys can be connected. They are learning more about past lives. I just heard their Akashic Records, infinite love. The infinity, eternal love. You guys are going to be connecting with Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. We have, uh-oh, look at this. I wonder if you guys can see this. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this is here. Let me move it on to this. We have S-U-X. Very close. You know where that's going, right? Um, S-U-X. We have a snowflake. So there's something different, something unique that's going to happen for you. Especially during winter, we have the number six. You know, I'm... This is making me think, what is that? There's a green leaf that it's usually in a dove's mouth. What does that mean? You guys want to look up what is what does it mean with the the dove holding the green leaf in its in its in its mouth? You guys want to look up doves. Dragonflies and doves and cardinals. Let's see what else. We have Virgo here. So we have yeah, practical. Okay, so you guys are going to be getting down to, I'm hearing your priorities. White cat intuition. There's a lot of white here. Purity as well. Let's see. So we have L. We have another X. You guys have two X's. Hmm. It's a lot of sensual energy. Some of you guys could be feeling quite passionate. I don't know why I'm hearing um, bust, bust. Um, but we have bus. Okay, L LBU. Some of you guys could be going to a university. Getting into a university. Scholarships is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys could be getting a loan quite soon. A successful like student loan or a scholarship. Hmm.
Okay, we have three here again, you guys. We have 36 and 63. Okay. So, let's see. I want to get something else for you guys. I don't know why. I just feel called to get you guys something else. I feel like there's more here. I feel like you guys have something else that's trying to come out. What blessing is coming out to one? Shield your energy. Boundaries. Remember I told you you're learning boundaries. Look beneath the surface. Seeing the truth of things. Look. Channel your knowledge. Critical judgment. So a lot of you are that psychic abilities. You're going to, that discernment is coming in very strong. Look at these spirals coming from the crown chakra. Some of you are going to be learning a lot. Miracles coming your way is like you intuitively knowing what to do. Receiving the, the knowledge you need about a certain situation is what I'm hearing. For some of you, you're going to be blessed with a home or some type of property quite soon is what I'm hearing. Some type of space and, and possibly even a retreat at a really nice location. That's really coming through a place where you can clear your mind. And when you come back, I'm hearing it's going to be really different. Like you're going to be changed. Like there's, you won't be the same. Um, I'm hearing that song. Oh, is that by Sabrina? No. What is that? Camilla Cabello, where she said, it's like something I'll never be the same. To me, guys, it is going to um, be love for some of you. It's going to be very passionate. So oh, there's a lot of miracles coming for you guys. Whoa, protection. Safe travel. There is a trip, a vacation, and water. Connecting to water energy. I'm also seeing koi fish. Koi fish are like good luck, I believe. You guys might want to look up koi fish. One more, please. What blessings? Time. You're going to have enough time. In fact, I'm hearing that it's all going to happen in divine timing for you. They're saying you are not out of time. New moon could be significant. New beginnings is what I'm hearing. So you guys, you're you're setting healthy boundaries with each with others. I'm hearing each other. You're setting boundaries with others. You have soul tribe coming in. You're connecting more with your emotions and your feelings and, and expressing them. I'm hearing a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom coming through. I'm hearing just about things that you've always wondered about or being able to study things you've always wanted to study. Clearing up communication possibly with someone that you miss is what I'm hearing. Um, that's going to be coming through. And there's a partner coming through, a partnership coming through for a lot of you. Yeah, and it's going to be heated, okay? But I'm not trying to take it there. There's a lot of enchantment, a lot of um, like magic, ethereal energy for you guys. So embrace this ethereal, majestic energy is what I'm hearing them say. Like embrace this this energy. Go spend time in nature. A lot of greenery. I'm hearing Everest would be quite helpful for you. Like, um, oh, Mount Everest. Oh, maybe that's for someone. But like evergreen there's something about greens greens they need to eat more greens but there's something about greenery fresh air is really going to help you ponds lakes be safe you guys but i'm getting a retreat i'm actually seeing like a group of people going on like to you know like a cabin or to a really nice home or a, a vacation there's something about a vacation for you guys so that's what i have for you guys if you've been wanting to go on a vacation it's gonna happen even if you don't see a way, trust and believe the divine is going to work it out. And you're going to come back renewed and glow up. Okay, refresh. They're showing me, they're saying mints, refresh, renewal. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we are going to move on. Okay, so I believe option two was this little angel. Okay, you have the angel. So, that alone is letting me know that you have help. What blessings and miracles are coming to option two, Holy Spirit? Ringing the bells. Okay, so we have a stack. So, 33. Okay, so, well, it's a 30, but we it's breaking down to three. So, ring thy bell to cast them out. Ring thy bell and dance about. Swirl the sounds and miss the winds. Nowhere to hide for all will ring. Sound frequencies, dancing, celebration. I'm hearing the Madonna song, Celebrate, okay. Happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. Ooh. 
So option one had a little bit of soul tribe. But you guys, it's straight up right here in your face. Celebration, happy love with friends and a romantic partner. If you're not, well, if you're in a relationship, this is more celebration, having more fun with your partner. If you're currently not in a relationship, this could be you meeting someone while out celebrating, okay? Let's do some charms for you. Option two, what blessings and miracles are coming to option two, Holy Spirit? So we have an EY. Ye, yay, okay. We have grapes, so that's like abundance. We have a skull here, so that's an ancestor connection here. We have watermelon sweetness. We have a, a huge snowflake, so something something magical is going to happen. And we have a paw print, so some of you guys could be getting a dog, and it's interesting, or a cat, a dog or a cat. I'm seeing, actually, um, wow, they're showing me a vision of, like, a dog with a red, um, a dog with a red ribbon on it, or a cat. Yeah, I'm actually getting a vision of a dog, but it could be a dog or a cat. Um, so someone could be gifting someone a pet here, okay? A fur baby. We have a wheel here. So I'm hearing finally um, taking the wheel like of your life, feeling like you have a sense of where you're going, like a clear direction. We have the handcuffs here, so there can be some, um, you know, freak action happening, if you know what I mean. Because um, I'm not getting anything negative here. I'm actually getting that you guys could be freeing yourself from something that you recently felt like bound to or attached to. Something that maybe you felt was holding you down. You're going to be freeing yourself from it. We have lipstick. So I do feel that some of you are going to be going out, dressing up, celebrating. Yeah, I'm getting that big time. Like getting out there. We have 33. Now, you, mind you, earlier I said 30 and I said 3. And I said, oh, but 30 breaks down to a 3. That's what I mean. Well, now you actually have 33, which breaks down to a 6. So that could be symbolic, the number 33. We have a cactus here. Something that may have been prickly to touch. Something that may have been, um, you know, like walking on, um, what do they say? Walking on um, pins or needles. or I can't remember what it's called. I'm actually seeing acupuncture. That's strange. Maybe some guys are going to be going to acupuncturist, but... I'm hearing that you're going to be freeing yourself from someone oh, walking on eggshells. You're going to be freeing yourself from someone that maybe you walked on eggshells with. Like You're like, you know what? I'm freeing myself from this situation. We have a black cat here for intuition. Okay? Strong intuition. I'm hearing um, tapping into mysteries. We have a flower. So you're going to be blooming, growing in some area of your life. We have a star. So some type of wish is going to become true becoming true and we have a bone again so i'm telling you some of you guys not again but you have a bone in a, a paw some of you guys are going to, be gonna, going to be getting a dog if you already have a dog there could be um like for example you could be getting a gift for your dog or buying something special for your dog like a nice bed for your dog or spending quality time for your dog especially if you work a lot or if you um go to school this could be spending time with your fur babies I'm actually hearing that maybe this is for one of you, but I'm hearing that you're going to meet someone who also has a fur baby, and I'm seeing like your pet playing with their pet. So it's like a a, a date where you can bring your pets. So <laughs> that's kind of cute. We have three, three, three. Option one had three, three, three. That's kind of scary. So angel three, three, three. Number um numerology number three, three, three. We have the letter C W. Okay, so we have. C Y E W Y. Okay, so we have F. Okay, I just heard Y Cliff. I don't know if you guys like Y Cliff. You guys are gonna go to a concert. I don't know why I'm hearing Yeezy. Maybe some guys might get concerts to a Kanye West concert. Hmm. I. Some of you guys might, even though we don't have another E. I'm getting that some of you guys might be getting your eyes checked or getting some nice glasses. I'm hearing some of you guys are going to be getting, like, some new makeup is what I'm hearing. Something about the color gray is significant. Someone's getting new Wi-Fi. That's so strange. Oh, we have the heart here. Ooh. Love. Look, a red heart. Happy love. That's beautiful. We have a key, rose key. That's your heart, Charlotte. You guys are healing 
a, your heart chakra. It's like it's blooming. I'm getting red roses, pink roses, I'm getting romance. So you guys are going to be having a lot of, um, even if it's rom you, romanti you romancing yourself, we have a seahorse. So there could be a lot of fertility here, if you know what I mean. We have a little cat here. I'm getting like a playfulness. We have a fish. Definitely a lot of fertility. Okay, so keep that in mind. Hearing also some of you guys could be working out. Okay, so what blessings, Holy Spirit? I'm going to use this deck instead. What blessings are coming out? Option two. Whoa. Seven of Swords. We have, oh, look, the Y is here. Now, I think that's interesting. We have the Seven of Swords that says Sabotage, and we have Y. So you may be coming to terms to why maybe if you felt that you had some, you know, self-sabotaging ways in the past, you're going to be coming to terms to why you did that. Like, what are your triggers? You know, what stops you? This could also be you guys figuring, I know we're asking about blessings and miracles, but this could also be you guys seeing who's for you and who's not for you, okay? Like that seven of swords, you're going to be getting clarity on who this is. Now, this is also letting me know that something could be happening for you. I'm hearing on the low, okay? Something interesting could be taking place that your angels are saying don't share, okay? Don't, don't you know, really set it off. We have disparage, okay, nine of swords, which usually talks about sleepless nights, but we're asking about blessings and miracles. So I'm hearing that a lot of you guys could be out all night, like partying, celebration, or I'm hearing just feeling energetic, like having the energy to, oh, let me get this and let me get that done. But they are saying, make sure you're getting rest. Like it's good that you have this surge of energy, um, but make sure you're getting rest, okay? So let's see what else you guys are getting. So a lot of mental clarity, things that were hidden are going to be to, are going to be revealed to you. And I'm also here you're going to get some ideas that you need to keep on the low. Yeah, we have the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be. Ethica. A lot of clarity coming your way, you guys. A lot of clarity is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so what once was disruptive with the Ten of Swords, like you have the Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords, you guys are finishing a cycle here. Seven, nine, ten. You guys are finishing a cycle, okay? Now, I want, I want to point out that you don't have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is usually feeling trapped. You guys have Nine of Swords, which shows someone usually up you know, in, in their bed. And you have the Ten of Swords, which is a completion. So you're, you're, you're completing this cycle to go into happier times. With Luna here, the moon, which is the unknown mystery, sometimes illusions. I'm hearing you're entering a dreamy state. I'm actually hearing that a lot is going to be happening at night. It could also be why you're having a hard time sleeping. You're receiving activations at night. Um... Some of you guys are going to be receiving a lot of dreams at night, a lot of visions of things. They're saying use it to create is what I'm hearing. Inspiration, moon cycles, femininity. There's something about manifesting on moon cycles that you need to connect with because a lot could be manifesting for you easily. During this time, they're saying be clear what you're manifesting, what you're thinking, what you're saying. You guys have the Midas touch right now, Ace of Cups. Love is really coming your way. This is an offer of love. This is heart chakra healing. See, this cycle had to end so you could enter this Ace of Cups phase. And the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Passion. Whoa. New beginnings. Offers. It's a fresh new start. I'm telling you. A fresh new start. And there's love on the table. Lots of it. Lots of love. Whoa. We have the King of Wands, inspiration. So you guys have inspiration. So that could be a creative project you might start working on. Yeah, it's like everything in the plans. I'm hearing it's in the plans. It's in the making. And look what's at the bottom. Four of Wands. Fulfillment. Strong pillars. Feeling stable. I'm hearing there's an idea, a project that's going to stabilize for you. Where it was once just something you thought about, it's going to stabilize. Like you're going to... You're gonna, strategize the plans on how to bring this into fruition it's going to happen it's, it's for some of you it's in the arts for some of you you're going to have your own business some of you guys are going to be starting your own business becoming entrepreneurs or taking the necessary steps to legalize your business is what i'm hearing for some of you and then for the other few of you 
you could be purchasing your a home or looking into purchasing a home, okay? But I'm hearing celebration. A lot of you guys are going to be partying. Go, you know, there's there could be a birthday party, a wedding, a, a bachelor's, a bachelor party, a bachelorette party, even a baby shower. There's going to be some type of um, celebration. There's an end of something, and it's going to be like a kind of like an initiation, a, a birth of something new. So that's making me think of like a marriage or like a birthday. Okay. Um, and I'm, that song, I'm hearing, you can ring my bell, ring my bell. Go listen to that song. I keep hearing it. So I definitely feel like that's a sign. Okay. Some of you guys could also be meeting people at these celebrations. Like say if it's a friend of yours that's getting married, you can end up meeting someone there. We have a well-being. So taking care of your well-being. Okay, so your overall health is going to be improving. Remember, you guys are ending out the Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, and Ten of Swords. So you're going to be taking care of your well-being and look at that full moon. So the moon cycles are very important. If you've been worried about finances, your finances are going to be healing. They're saying Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know who that's for, but you might want to look that up. Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay. Taking something small and, and making it big. So this project could start small and it could grow really big if you stay persistent. Embrace peace. So you guys are be receiving more peace and answers coming. All those swords, some type of divine answers coming towards you. Pay attention to birds, you guys. Travel. So some of you guys could be traveling forward, moving forward, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We're actually traveling. Let's see what else is coming your way. What blessings, miracles, psychic abilities. So I do feel like you're going to have a telepathic communication with someone is what I'm hearing. You may even have a vision of someone coming in before they do or hints of them coming in. Oh, so you guys are traveling as well. You have another three. You have four threes. So you guys are going to be traveling as well. Gaining insight and wisdom. I'm hearing spiritual insight and wisdom. So you guys can be learning about some type of goddess or God. Truth. Yep, clarity. Some of you guys are going to be writing a book is what I'm hearing. Divine masculine. For a lot of you, your divine masculine is coming in. Uh-oh. So that's going to be That's going to. Oh, I just heard it. Very empowering. So it's going to make you feel empowering. So um, it's going to be very powerful is what I'm hearing. Like... You're going to be gaining some type of, um, they're showing me the high priestess. So you're going to be gaining some type of insight on something that was hidden, the moon, right? Moving forward, you're going to know which direction to go in, okay? I'm actually getting direction guardian. Let me see if this comes out because it's in this deck. Let's see. Uh, look, peace. You guys are going to be embracing peace. Let go of what ne the need to be right. Oh, my. So you guys are going to be embracing a lot of peace, beautiful it's gonna be very peaceful harmonious relationships i'm hearing a lot of laughter a lot of dancing singing giggling goofiness just playfulness look boom boom what did i just tell you guys direction guardian you saw me choose your path they're going to help you your guide's going to help you to choose your path boom you're going to receive the truth. Traveler, you guys are traveling. Move in a new direction. They're going to help you. This inner compass is your intuition. This safe travel, you're being protected as you move forward. Some of you guys be getting a new home, moving to a new location. Only if you want to, getting a better apartment, a better condo, a better home. Um, some of you guys could be getting a vacation home. I just heard that for someone. Another few of you could be traveling abroad. Meeting significant people while you travel on your travels is what I'm hearing. And then for a few of you, this is just you really going within. This is more spiritual. Like, okay, now I know what path I want to take in my life. What course of direction I'm going to go in spiritually, mentally, emotionally. How do I see myself living my life? You know, how do I see myself living? What, what, you know, how do I want to feel? You know, it, it's you coming to terms with how you want to live and who you want in your space and your surroundings with the four of wands i am getting a strong structure here so 
you guys are going to be laying roots somewhere quite steady and and strong. So whether you decide to move or lay roots where you currently are, you're going to know how to do that. Some of you could be into architecture or design. I am seeing a map out, a layout, a blueprint for a home or a business. So some of you could actually be upgrading a property you already have, whether this is a home or business, okay? Or if you're looking into architecture, interior design to study it, this could be your sign, um, as well as starting your own business. Anything, I'm hearing resources, having the resources to do that as well. Like investors, if you need that, they're saying that's going to come through. Truth, they're saying read over contracts thoroughly. Take your time. Everything's going to happen in divine timing. Make sure you follow that inner compass. They're guiding you. What's at the top? Stack, trust, and thrive. Boom. That's masculine energy, the divine masculine. So if you're already a masculine energy, you're going to be stepping into your like emperor energy. Big emperor, big boss, CEO energy is what I'm hearing. Okay. And if you're a feminine energy, oh, look, you have the tri, um, what is that? Tricola? Is it the, tr I forgot what that's called, that symbol. Oh, wow. The three spirals. But if you're feminine energy, you're going to be coming across a masculine energy quite soon. That's going to be very significant in your life, the divine masculine. And you're also going to be stepping into your power. Stepping more in your masculine energy. This is a leader. This is a boss. So it's taking action towards the things you feel drawn to go after. I'm hearing that inner call. Okay. So let's see what else. What blessings are coming to option two? The truth. Boom. Raven spirit. Look at that. So feathers could be significant. Seven, spirituality. Two, you have five, transformation. There's a huge transformation. The truth will transform you. I'm hearing the truth will set you free. You're going to receive the truth. So that, <laughs> I know that some people are like, oh, that's a blessing. Yeah, receiving clarity and truth. I'm hearing John Mayer's clarity. I'm also hearing John Mayer's new deep. Go listen to those songs. Look, the lyrics could have significant meaning. We have beauty. Oh, look, the nymphs. What nymphs? So some of you guys are updating your appearance. That's the glow up after this transformation. I'm here. Your heart chakra is glowing. Like you're just this big boss. It's like an empress and emperor energy. You're going to feel freed. Prosperity. Be spirit. Whoa. Financial health. You're healing. This, this business, this project could bring you a lot of prosperity. If you have a project that you're thinking about, get to it because let's just say and if it has to do with beauty tap in remember we have the lipstick if it has something to do with makeup or beauty tap in if you have thinking about starting your own business do it trust and believe trust and believe that high priestess energy some of you guys are if you're psychic tap in tap in if you're trying to expand your business do it is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see what else. We have freedom. Eagle spirit. More freedom. More clarity is what they're saying. And more freedom. Knowing exactly how to move forward. The truth. The truth. coming. I'm hearing it's all going to come down to the truth. Like you're, you're going to receive it. Whatever it is. If you've been having confusion in some type of area of your life. It's going to be cleared up. You're going to be receiving more privacy. Uh oh, look. Look at that. I'm hearing Chris Brown's privacy. You know where that's going, right? <laughs> Companionship. Happy love. You see where this is going. That's the blessing, the miracle that's going to be occurring. What's at the bottom? Vacancy. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting that you guys might be going somewhere, like visiting a property, a location. Um, maybe you guys are going to be going on a trip you may have someone watch like look at your home you look out for your home or um look out for your pets or something like that like maybe have your neighbors or family friends look out for your home or your you know your pets while you're on vacation is what i'm hearing and comparable this is someone that is so unique okay so you guys got some 
some passion, love too coming. But you guys are stepping into boss energy and you will be unstoppable. Nothing is going to stop you. I'm here. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. So you guys are reaching new heights is what I'm hearing. This is about you reaching new heights. Blessings. Whoa. Two. First house. Personality, identity, individuality, beginnings, and goals. Yep. A new beginning. Reaching your goals. Stepping more into who you are and in your power. We have air. Communication coming through. Yep. We have the king of swords. Freedom. We have the king of wands. And we have curiosity and knowledge. Thoughts. We have knowledge here. So definitely a lot of truth. A lot. Of, you guys are truth seekers. You're going to be seeking a lot of knowledge and wisdom. I'm hearing things just clearing up. Like you're just going to know how to move forward. And you're going to feel very, I'm hearing, freed by that. We have reconsider, question, research of wisdom, quest of the truth. Boom. Receiving that. I'm hearing mic drop. I'm hearing whatever this is that you guys are about to do. You're going to be like, mic drop. Like, look at, <laughs> you're going to want to flex and, and share. And they're saying, hey, you know, be humble. Don't share it until it's completely finished because I am getting that. You guys are going to feel excited about something. Some of you guys could be graduating soon too is what I'm hearing. Maybe you felt like you're going to have to spend more time in school and you're going to find out there's an easier path for you to graduate. That's for a couple of you. Let's see what else you need to know. Blessings. Meditate and contemplate. We have new moon in Pisces. Dreamy ideas, visions, okay? Creative, I'm hearing creative potential. We have what do you need to release? So you're going to be releasing things at seven of swords, things that don't serve you. So you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone, king of wands, following your north node, your true calling. At the bottom, we have communication is key, which we know. New moon in Gemini, that air sign energy. You're going to be clearing up communication. Oh, wow. Let's see what else. Guidance, that psychic ability. You are divinely guided. Whoa. So they're letting you know you guys are on the right track. You're being guided. Whoa, what it was this? Heart. So follow your heart. Emotions and intentions. So, oh, why did I say intentions? Maybe you need to set crystal clear intention. I'm hearing do nothing without intention. That Solange interlude. Um, so emotions and intuition. Following the divine guidance being given to you. So follow your heart. Do everything from the heart. And you're learning life's le lessons. Option one had that. Okay, so it's all right to make mistakes. But you guys are following your north node. That, that north star. Blessings, inspiration, time to shine. This could put, put you in a position of, um, I'm hearing limelight. Like shine, six of wands, victory. You guys are going to be seen in some type of way. Or the leaders in some type of way. They're saying, don't be afraid. Don't back down now. Don't get cold feet. You're ready for it. You've been preparing for this, okay? So, oh, there's a there's a card that I have from one of my um, other Oracle decks, and it says, you prepared for this for lifetimes. And I am getting that energy for you. Like, you guys have been preparing for this. So, look at that. Pisces energy. Forgive, release, and let go. Koi fish could be symbolic for you. Okay, okay. Fish in general. I think you guys had fish, a fish in your charms. So we have to keep your heart open. So yeah, don't close up your heart. Even when you get into this power, open your heart. Remember to live out of love. Live it in a place of love. This is all about love. You guys are loving and leveling up. <laughs> love and leveling up. And we have speak your world into being. Whoa, first quarter moon in Gemini. So use that communication. Use your throat chakra to speak blessings over your life. One more. Work through your feelings, okay? Speaking your truth. And we have practice gratitude. Last moon in Sagittarius. I'm hearing a gratitude journal would be very helpful. A vision board for some of you could be helpful as well. What do we have? Release your blocks. Let's see, give me, give me one more, please. I want one more. Go wild. Whoa. See, that fire, you have that fire and air. It's like strategic, oh, why did I get tongue-tied there? Strategically moving forward towards your dreams. I don't know why I just heard going with the wind. I mean, actually getting that vision of Kenya Moore, I'm going with the wind, fabulous. You guys, this the lion is being seen. The Leo is all about being seen, shining its light. That's what you're, it's big boss energy. It's, it's the emperor. It's the king. You guys are stepping into authority, leadership, power. 
It's beautiful. It really is. I want you guys to look up. Is it a Chocola? I can't remember what it's called. It's the Three Spiral. Three Spirals Connected. I want you guys to look that up. It's significant for you guys. It holds some more meaning um, for you. I want to see something else. I want to see what other blessings could be coming to you. I do feel like there's something else. Let's see what else. What other blessings are coming to option two? Magical Crystal Cave. Switch on your inner light. Bring forward your gifts. Using your gifts to bring you prosperity, you guys. Oh my. You have the key crown chakra. We have infin the infinity symbol. But I just saw like a dollar symbol. You guys are getting money. Oh my. It's like all of a sudden you reached a new level in a video game. You have a new key, right? And they unlock this whole new game for you. This whole new level. It's a level up. I'm telling you. It's beautiful. What is this? Open your heart. Everything's your heart chakra. The more you guys heal your heart chakra, the more abundance and prosperity and love comes to you. Love yourself. Dare to be vulnerable. And I feel that you're going to have that. You're going to feel very safe and comfortable with these soul. I'm hearing these soul members. I just heard soul members that are coming to you. And I'm getting this is going to be friendship and romantic. You definitely have a partner coming your way if you aren't already with your partner. Like, this is amazing. I'm hearing that. Your main thing that you're going to be kind of focused on is like, okay, how do I balance it all? Because it's all going to happen around the same time I'm hearing. It's going to feel like, whoa, a bit overwhelming, but magical. I'm hearing amazing. Like, wow, wow. That's what I just heard. Oneness. Look for the common humanity. Invoke Lemurian light. You, this is your divine purpose. You guys are connecting to your divine purpose and why you were sitting here in the first place. And it's really beautiful, you guys. This, you're evolving in such a huge way. I'm hearing you're creating a new world for yourself, big time. And it, you're just going to keep evolving, you know? New life, bingo. Your new life is awaiting you. And I, it's beautiful. It's looking hella good to me. <laughs> so, wow. I don't even know what to say. I, 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 let me get one more for you guys. Okay, one more. The blessings. The hopeful. The power of prayer and meditation can wake you up, renew your faith, help you attune to your needs and align with your deepest truths. It's all about your deepest truths. Seven. The hopeful. They're saying stay hopeful. A lot of blessings coming your way. So stay. I'm hearing prayer and meditation is key. You guys are the game changers. You guys are. And it's beautiful. So congratulations. <laughs> Go have fun. Go celebrate right now. Celebrate yourself and how far you've come. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Option two. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we are moving on to option three. Option three. You guys have the snowman. Mr. Snowman. Okay. What else you guys have? You guys, I'm hungry now. I just ate and it's like midnight. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyways, we have light. 20. Hope is but a word, but a word casting the unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. Let there be light where light is but a dream. I don't know why I'm getting poetry and singing for you guys. I'm, I'm That's coming through. What else do we have? We have air. Work with the element of air to cut through to the... Mm, that's interesting. You guys might be connected to option two. Work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation. See the truth. So two. I'm here. It takes two, baby. What's that song? And they're, I don't know why they're showing me um, Parent Trap. That's interesting. Maybe you guys are going to be feeling very playful. Embracing your inner child is what I'm hearing. Let's see what your tarot cards are. We have Generosis. Generosis. King of Disc. King of Pentacles. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Jeez Louise, he's all about his stability and security. We have Prince of Cups, Pasio. That's beautiful. 
Yeah, my stomach is really growling, y'all. I am hungry out of nowhere. I need to snack on something. My question is, why is my stomach growling all of a sudden in your reading? Well, King of Pentacles does represent Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And when I think of Taurians, I think of foodies. And he is holding food. So, I don't know if there's something with cooking. Or maybe you're needing to leave food at your ancestor altar. Hmm. Okay. We have the Prince of Swords at the bottom. Let's see what else. This is inner child work. Whoa, six of wands, attainment, letting your light shine. I'm hearing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. So we have hope is but a word, but a word cast an unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. Your dream's coming true. Whoa, okay. So you guys have a certain dream that's about to manifest. And I feel that has to do with your finances. If you're a chef, it could have to do with um like culinary arts. Yeah, and then for some of you, whoa, the lighthouse. Look, the lighthouse, the light. You guys are going to be shining very bright, very, very bright with Jupiter, oh, Jupiter and Leo. Ten of Wands. So the only thing they're saying is be aware of overworking yourself. Because I do feel that you guys are going to reach some type of success and you're going to be like, okay, I got to keep going, keep going. And they're saying it's okay for you to rest. They're saying it's okay for you to put the weight down. Like you don't have to carry the world on your shoulder. But I am getting that you guys are going to be well respected. So you guys are going to be, the divine is saying the blessing, the miracles that are coming your way is that you guys are going to receive some type of um, acknowledgement, achievement, or an award quite soon. So this could be um, like a promotion for some of you guys, a, a raise, a promotion, um, something working in your favor, like you guys finally receiving the credit that you deserve. And also a lot of inner child, um, I'm here enjoyment, like healing and enjoyment. I'm seeing someone baking. That that makes a lot of sense why my stomach growls so loud in this reading. I'm now seeing someone baking. The Page of Cups, they're showing me like kids making cookies in the kitchen. So I don't know if you may do that or if that's just representing like a more a easier time in life, a more comfortable time in life. You know, children don't have any worries. And I am getting that you guys may enter a state where you feel content. Like, wow, I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I feel steady. And I'm hearing the more you shine your light, the more you stand in your authenticity, the more appreciated you are. Three of Cups, plentitude, having enough. This is celebration. This is also gathering with family and friends. You guys could be spending a lot of time um, having gatherings at home. Unlike the other pals, I'm not getting traveling here. I feel that this is someone who's arrived home because even the six of wands shows someone coming out of like a battle. I feel that you guys are home. This is like the home front, like being shining your light somewhere, being seen and recognized in, in, I'm, I don't want to say praise, but being recognized for something finally. And I am getting like this real homey vibe. It's very homey. It's like food cooking, baking. It's those candles that smell like food. It's something um, cozy, hot chocolate, you know, pies, cookies. And it's very nurturing. It's luxurious. This could very well be a promotion for some of you or your business doing well out of nowhere, like just doing better than you expected. Having enough, being able to share. For some of you, it's like, Having a little dinner or a little like um, gathering at your home. Your authenticity is going to carry you far. That's what they keep saying. So whatever it is you're doing, um, I, I do feel like this has to do um, with a business or something that you do. Just stay authentic. It's going to be different for everyone. So I'm trying to leave it kind of open. Stay authentic. Even if you see other people succeeding faster than you, 
do things your way, okay? I'm hearing my way, Frank Sinatra. I'm hearing you can go your own way. I don't know who sings that. But they're saying do things your way because it's going to carry you far, okay? So be uniquely you. Be quirky. Be you, okay? Shine your light. That's why you've been sent here. So, wow. There's a celebration you guys may even have like a little party for whatever this is. Like, wow, I, you know, I achieved this. So that's beautiful. I'm just getting stability, comfort. So you're going to receive some type of communication um, about something that you've achieved. And you have the star. This is hope. This is that light. That's that hope, that light in the dark sky. And we have a peacock here. It's all about being seen. So fireworks, it's something magical is going to happen for you. Lights everywhere. It's like something's going to be lit up for you. It's beautiful. It really is. I'm, I'm, I like this pal a lot. Did I get charms for you guys? I can't remember. Did I get charms for you guys? Let's see. If I did, we're going to just get more. What blessings and miracles are coming to option three? We have the sun and the moon. A good balance of masculine and feminine energies. This could also be a union. We have a moon and a star. So there could be some type of connection with... Um, someone could be learning about religions. Well, you guys have my, my soulmate dolphins. This is actually from my childhood. So there's something with the childhood. Oh my, something magical from the childhood soulmate. This could also be you guys connecting with someone that you miss from your childhood. Yeah, rocking chair, like a little rocking horse. Childhood, something with the childhood coming here or children. Okay, we have 99. All right, that's significant. We have the elephant for family and wisdom and also Ganesha. We have a dove. I think that's a, either a dove or an angel. I'm sorry, you guys. It's an angel with a heart. Wow. Okay. What else? You guys have a carriage. That makes me think of Cinderella. Something transforming. The chariot. Something's going to happen. It, it's very home. It's such a homey vibe. That's all I keep getting. It's like... Think of coziness in the home. Think of um, think of Nancy Myers movies. It's cozy. We have twenty nine ninety two two nine nine. We have this lily. It makes me think of Louisiana. It makes me think of New Orleans, or f I'm hearing something French like France. Um, no, they just said something French. What does that mean? Like what? What French? It could actually be France, but they're saying something French. Maybe Creole, we have a, a bow, a ribbon. I'm getting that this is a gift. Someone could be um, receiving a proposal or a date. Someone could be asking you out on a date soon. T1, one T. So we have 12, we have 19, 91, 21. And we have, um, this makes me think of um, Hather. I don't know why. Makes also make it just makes me think of um like the cow horns. There's something with that. It's like an abundance and a prosperity. Let's see if I can get more for you guys. We have the starfish regeneration. We have another moon, femininity, and we have a flower blooming. Something's growing for you. Okay, what else? We have. A snowflake, so something different. You guys being authentic to yourself. And we have love and be loved. Makes me think of that Bob Marley song, Love and Be Loved. Is that is that what it's called? Love and Be Loved. You guys might feel called to work with Citrine, um, Clear Quartz, Carnelian is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else you guys may have. I feel called to get another one. Let's see what blessings are coming your way. Give me one card at a time, Holy Spirit. Whoa. Moonlight enchantment. Look at the wolf. Magic. 
Definitely some magic in the air. Look, look. I said wolf. You have wolf spirit. I have to show you that. Family. Remember I said spending time at home? But something with your, your tribe. Spending time with your tribe. Retreating indoors with your tribe. This is more homey. I know maybe some of you guys don't get a chance to spend time with family. Or maybe it's just that it's going to be peaceful finally. Like, oh wow, this was a very peaceful event. Celebrating something with family. You might find out that someone's expecting or you're expecting. Or someone's been, been you know, proposed to. Yeah, so you guys are going to be feeling gr very grateful. And look, there's a stag here. A, a white stag at that. So that's miracles. That's magic. Being grateful. You have a bell, blue bell fairy. So a lot of magic happening for you. You guys might want to look at the wolf um, totem. Yep, change for the better. I think this change is, is you guys receiving some type of acknowledgement that you've been so deserving of. But look at the little home in the globe. I'm telling you, this is like the family coming together or, or your close friends. Spending time, maybe even with if you have dogs, but spending time with those who feel like family and home to you. What do we have? Freedom to do what you want and drag and power. A lot of rest. It's very homey, you guys. Think of it's Venus energy. It, it, it's, it's, comfort, it's comfortable, you know? Nice candles. It just feels good. Changes in the air for the better. New season of life. A season of winning is what I'm hearing. All we do is win. Peace, harmony, and contentment. I said that. Feeling content. And I accidentally said dove, too. Me one more. Forgiveness. So, I feel like that cuts. Cuts. Wow. That goes through the air. Um, Connects with the air card. You're going to be cutting through to the core of situation. And realizing one's intentions. Forgiving and having compassion. Setting yourself free from things that don't serve you. And growth. Overcoming limitations. That's exactly what's happening for you guys. So, wow. So, there's going to be a lot of magic surrounding your, um, I'm hearing your dreams, your visions. Yeah, look, they want you to embrace this energy. Inhale, exhale, create space within. A lot of relaxation. If you guys have want, just been wanting to relax, I'm hearing that you're going to get that too. It's just. I'm hearing simplifying, like I don't have to do so much. I can just relax, have my favorite foods, and celebrate my success, communicate with, you know, my family. Give me one card. Adjustments are required. Making the proper adjustments. I'm here rearranging. Some of you guys could be decorating. I said this in another pile, but I'm, I am getting interior design. I'm getting something with baking and cooking. You know what? They're saying the movie, it's complicated. That's Nancy Myers' film. Like her kitchen, her her baking, that cozy vibe. Balanced spirituality and practicality. So you guys are going to be stepping into a greater balance. You and your loved ones are safe. That's family. I do feel like something's connecting with family. Okay? You're healing with family. Don't let pride get in the way. Another option had that. The energy is gaining momentum. So this is a time of healing. A mending is what I'm hearing. Mending. And they're saying be bold and make the first move towards your dreams. Wow, I want to get one more card for you guys. No, actually, I'm going to get two more. Energy, gaining momentum. I'm telling you guys, are going to have the energy to achieve whatever this is has been, I'm hearing on pause for some of you. Re privacy with family and friends. I feel that this is going to be... Something, this could be actually during the holidays, but this could be you guys having some type of event or some type of gathering. It could even just be a dinner, you know, like a family night, but it's going to be something that's worth remembering. A lot of synchronicities. Fireworks. There's something about lights. You guys can be seeing fireworks or going somewhere where there's going to be fireworks. Remember we had the Six of Wands celebration? So it's a victory. You guys could be going to a game, a football game. You guys could be going to a concert. Or there's going to be a party thrown. There's going to be fireworks. So you're going to be surprised. There could be a surprise party. Oh, well, damn. I would have told you now, right? Um, so is it a surprise? But um, there's something that's going to surprise you, okay? Big time. Okay, so 
something's coming together. You guys, there's there's going to be a huge surprise, huge celebration. Maybe something's going to be taking place for you during New Year's. Um, New Year's Eve is what I'm hearing. Now, this is timeless, so you can watch it whenever, but something juicy is going to be happening for you guys. Let's see what else. See your seeds grow. Remember, we had the growth card. So it's very fertile for you, a very fertile time to grow. Harness mystic power. Yes, that's Bastet. That's that Bast energy. That's Isis, too. So, so you guys tapping into your magic, tapping into that. I'm hearing your creativity as well. Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. It's very playful in a way, too. Look, Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. That's family. We have take charge with authority. Lord, the emperor. We have broken arrow. I embrace the energy of peace. So you guys will be spending time with family. There could be a masculine um, family member that could be symbolic that maybe you guys could be mending with or healing with. And look, boom. Guardian angel, you are not alone. So you guys need to pay attention to white feathers. There could be a guardian angel or a passed on ancestor, relative, loved one, or friend that could be watching over you and giving you signs. And that could be a miracle in itself that you're going to realize, oh my God, this person, this, this being is watching over me. They're with me still. So that is here, okay? Wise one, grow within your current situation. You're going to be getting a lot of knowledge, a lot of insight on how to move forward. Let's see what else. The truth. You cannot be truthful with another person unless you are first truthful and honest with yourself. The truth is not afraid of questions. This is you embracing your authenticity. Yeah, you're going for it. I'm here, you're going for it. Meaning, you're really about to get down to what it is you want to do in life. You know, sometimes we just go about our day to day, you know, but I feel that something is going to click within you guys. And you're going to realize I'm so deserving of the best. I'm so deserving of so much more. Give me one more. I feel like there's something else here. Woo. The initiate. Acknowledge what you do not know and learn with a beginner's mind so you can become Accept it as an authority one day. Mm, so you're going to be accepted as an authority one day. So learning. The student, well, the teacher was once a student, right? So learning new knowledge, new wisdom in order to share it in the future. That's very beautiful. Whoa. Affluence and protection. Your finances are protected. Financial protection is what I'm hearing. Security and stability. King of Pentacles. I'm hearing. Got that thing on. Debo. It's locked. Money back secured. That's what I just heard. Messages from past on loved ones coming through. 33 master number. Oh, they're not playing with you. 156 harmony overall. That, beautiful. I'm hearing. Don't let anyone get in the way of your harmony and your peace. Because it's looking really good, you guys. It's looking really good. Give me one card. Little blessings and miracles. Fire. So you guys want to step into that action energy. Vitality. Impulse. Passion. Will. Desire. Enthusiasm. I'm hearing that this is going to make you feel comfortable, happy. But it's also going to make you feel creative. And I'm getting that you guys, this would be more of like cooking or doing something on the home front or even something with landscaping, okay? North Node, the evolution path, the way to follow, following your life purpose, shining your light, being authentically you. I'm hearing you're going to be celebrated for your uniqueness. They're gonna, someone's going to love it. That's what I just heard. Someone's going to love it. They're going to see it. Some of you guys could be... Um, be discovered soon if you're like if you're um, wanting to be discovered in some type of way feel very empowered appreciate it there show me that video there's that oh you're gonna receive answers truth clarity remember it comes back down to this card there show me that video of the one where she says i just want to be appreciated it's that like yeah you're gonna be appreciated and you're gonna be very confident so Oh, infertility. I'm telling you, that home front, the home could be growing. It, it, it's feeling good. Maybe there's a bun growing in the oven for someone or a project growing. 
it's a good balance here and i'm loving it for you guys so congratulations on whatever win or victory that you guys are about to step into this miracle something that you thought maybe wouldn't happen is going to happen and someone else had that same message come through so i definitely feel like that could be symbolic so follow um follow your heart if there's another pal that you wanted to check out is what i'm hearing they're also telling me to pull one more card let's see in this one clear your mind that's that air yep last quarter moon in gemini air card okay relaxation that's what they're saying shine shine bright like a diamond you guys are about to shine and be real it's all about your authenticity shining your light right full moon in aquarius so this is beautiful i love you guys i felt called to say that i feel that you guys are going to hear that more you're going to hear it more you're appreciated you are appreciated and i'm hearing that there's so much more that's coming your way but it hasn't been revealed yet. In a way, I'm hearing you're being tested. It's like, we're going to give you these gifts and these blessings. We're going to see how you handle them. And then they're going to prepare you for more. So be grateful, okay? Moving on to option four. Option four with the reindeer. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> okay. We have the unknown 41-5 change. Think on it and you will stumble, for the heart is a ghost upon the unknown. Let it bleed into the depths, depths, <laughs> bearing nothing but desire. Embrace the unknown. Don't try to dig so deeply into it. They're saying you're going to be in a position where you're just living in the present moment. Not worrying about the past, not too worried about the future. One enchanted evening, the perfect night. Ooh. The unknown and the perfect night. This is very mysterious. It's like a, I don't know. This this one's interesting. This one's um has a mysterious vibe to it. So it's like a gift that it, it's makes me think of um on Christmas Day when there's so many gifts that you kind of know. You you know the shape of the box. You know if it's a doll, right? You remember when you were a kid, you knew what doll it was. You knew what toy car it was. But it's that one box where you're not sure, where you're like, okay, I don't know what that is. And it makes you curious, right? You start getting curious, like, okay, what is that? That's what I'm getting. There's something here that I don't know if they're going to reveal to us what this is. It feels like they want to, this is a mysterious um pile of charms what is this wow this is santa's sleigh how ironic you have since santa's sleigh and you have the reindeer gifts there's gifts on their way to you wow you guys have a star a golden star and you have a moon and you have two okay we have Sagittarius, Optimus. So they're saying stay optimistic. There's a key. Some of you guys could be getting a new car is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm hearing some of you guys. You could be wanting to get a new car or get an update on your current car. And it's going to happen for you. Something about your vehicle is going to be a blessing, a miracle. Okay, we have cherries. So, something sweet. They're showing me a Shirley Temple Sprite with um, the flavoring. They're, they're, something playful. Yeah, they're, saying, they're showing me someone playing in snow. Making like a snowman. They're, I don't know why they're showing me Home Alone, the movie Home Alone. It's very playful. Hold on, let's see what else. So once again, you guys also have ancestors. We have 32, which is a 5, 23. Yeah, you guys are going to be cutting away what doesn't serve you. I'm hearing cutting away fears of the unknown. We have this. This makes me think of tiles. Some of you guys, it's crazy. I mentioned interior design and two other options, but I feel like you might be doing something with design. 
It could be fashion, it could be interior or something with the home, repainting, remodeling, redecorating, or trying some type of new hobby. You guys are going to be doing something that you've never done before. We have feng shui. Some of you guys could be receiving type of, some type of blessing because of feng shui, or you're going to be learning about feng shui. Flowers. Look at that. That's huge. I'm hearing that someone could gift you flowers soon. We have a rocking chair again. This is childlike. We have 9, 92, 29, 39, 93, 329, 932. We have the turtle, slow and steady wins race. This is like wisdom accumulated over the years. We have prenite. Oh, no, no. This is aquamarine. I'm sorry you have aquamarine, but maybe you were supposed to hear prenite. You guys have BK, Brooklyn, KB. Wow, Kobe. So whenever I think of Kobe Bryant, I think of discipline. I think of Virgos. I think of legend, um, you know, like a legendary stat status. I think of a legacy. We have a unicorn. So something unique, something miraculous, mythical. Yeah, being number one at what you do is what I'm hearing. We have shooting stars. Wow. And this is like an ancient key. Some of you might have some type of connection to Celt some Celtic. Something Celtic is what they're saying. You have a lollipop here. Childlike. Sweets. You versus you. Yep, that's that mentality. I'm hearing Mamba mentality. You versus you. You are your only competition. So you guys could be getting motivated, preparing for something. I'm hearing like athletes. Some of you guys could be athletes or wanting to work out or at least get disciplined in something. Yep, I will. So you guys are becoming more disciplined, more goal-oriented, focused. Like I'm hearing tunnel vision on something that you're wanting to achieve. You guys also have a soulmate coming in, a very strong soulmate coming in in the future. Or they're already here. We have 89, 98. We have 1, 2, 3. So that's progress. We have 1, 1. 11 KB. That's interesting. What else? We have M and W. So we have WM, WB. That's film. Some of you guys could be in film or television. I'm hearing Kim, KB, KM, KW. I don't know why I just heard calm, but I also heard Quan. Quan. What do we have here? We have another three. We have 33. We have another rocking chair. We have two turtles now. Soulmates. I'm telling you, we have squid and we have a T now. TM, MT. We have a green leaf. There's something about um, mountains for someone out there. Okay. Let's see. What blessings and miracles are coming to option four? Whoa. Anxiety, five of wands. So you guys are going to be releasing anxiety because we're asking about what blessings and miracles are coming your, your way. I'm hearing you're going to be overcoming your anxieties. We have passiveness, eight of cups. I'm getting it. You're going to be walking away from your anxieties and fears. The eight of cups usually shows someone walking away from it. You're getting out of your head and you're deciding to walk away from things that don't serve you. This is... This anxiety and passiveness is about the unknown. I'm hearing you're, you're becoming content with the unknown. Peace, yep. Realizing that, you know what, I may not know which decision to make, which path to take, but I'm going to trust in the divine. I'm going to trust in divine timing. What blessing and miracles are coming? King of Swords. You guys could be meeting the King of Swords quite soon. I'm hearing this is not you. So this could be a, a masculine or feminine energy. 
Yeah, I feel like you're gonna be meeting a king of swords. Momentum, whoa. This is a chariot card, success. Confidently moving forward. We have Shiva here. You guys, you're confidently moving forward. Whoa. I did say something with a vehicle. We have a chariot. We had a, uh, a, a, what was it? The carriage. And we have the Luna, the moon. I just heard moon goddess. And we have the one enchanted evening, the perfect night. So something's going to happen at night for you guys. So this could be someone planning a nice date. Are you guys doing something nice at night? Receiving some type of contentment? Feeling nourished is what I'm hearing. Um, they're saying that have discernment, of course. But there's going to be some offers brought to you. You're going to have to know what's for you, what's not for you. Because some of them are going to be amazing and some of them are going to be, you know, just offered to you. What I mean by that is... Not everything that's offered to you is for you. So it's just going to be an offer. But some some of these opportunities are going to be ones that you're going to you're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, "Wow. I was offered this position. I was offered to go here." I just That was really creepy. Something just moved in my home. But um I'm hearing expenses all paid for. So you guys could be going somewhere or receiving some type of um, gift, like to go somewhere and it's paid for. That's for someone. Leave the past behind. That's exactly what you're doing. You're leaving this anxiety, this, this anxious energy, fear of the unknown. You're leaving that behind. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Look at all that greenery. There's something with that. I'm also hearing knowing when to slow down to rest. Attend to the details. Virgo. Virgo, what I say? Virgos are great about detail and discipline. They know how to get focused. And I feel that... You guys are letting go of all this anxiety and stress and fear that didn't serve you. And you're stepping into a place of peace, acceptance, and you're going to become more clear on how to move forward and more focused on the details. I'm hearing precise, doing things with precision. I'm, I'm seeing someone so focused, like creating a game plan. You're going to succeed, okay? Because you're releasing different blocks that stopped you, things that held you back in the past. You're focusing more on self-love and it's beautiful. It's going to take you far is what I'm hearing. It's going to take you really far. Work, useful activity, everyday life, health care, well-being. They're saying you need to focus on self-care, self-love. Yang, mask and polarity. Exteriorization, action, emit Give reason reality. Let's just say healthy balance. I think some of you guys are going to, going to be going out on dates. Is what I'm hearing. Please spirit, what is option four? And you know what blessings, gifts are coming their way. Your life purpose. Things may look unclear, but they're about to clear up quite soon. Talent. They're saying follow your talents. The things that you were naturally, the, the God-given gifts you were naturally given, right? Things you were naturally able to do. Singing, poetry, writing, dancing. You know, whatever it is. Some type of sport that you're naturally good at. Do that. Focus all your energy on what it is you're good at doing. Be the best at it. That's what's going to happen here. Home. Some of you guys could be... Wow, succeeding at some type of home, some type of project. Some of you guys could be gaining some type of, um, I'm hearing like, hmm, that's weird. They just changed that. They're saying feeling stable in something and it feels like home. So this could be physical. Like you could be gaining some type of property, buying some type of property, paying off a property. Um, something's going to work in your favor when it comes to a home, okay? It's going to work in your favor. 
but they're also saying that you're going to do something that's going to feel you're going to feel at home with it you're going to feel comfortable with it. you're going to feel natural with it that's what's going to give you success okay that's what's going to bring you the most peace so they're saying follow your truth follow your heart let's see what else you guys need to know what blessings miracles are coming your way someone else had that one that's crazy how some of the same cards come out trust and thrive stag that's boss energy that's also a spirit guide helping you guys see what else blessings one card at a time please the sun enjoys success and happiness so what more did you need you guys are going to have success and happiness within the home front within your talents and your life purpose and i feel this all is going to connect with each other like a triangle mother earth feel loved and comforted so connect with mother earth connect with a, a feminine figure that you trust Shift your perception, ear guardian. Seeing things differently. Trusting in the unknown now. Holding the space for others and yourself. Working with clear courts. Learning more knowledge and wisdom. Taking note of intuitive messages. The moon cycle. Yeah, the moon and the sun. That's a good balance, right? Good balance. It's actually a great balance. I don't know why I heard great. That's what I just heard offering you're gonna be offered something these are gifts you're definitely gonna get some type of gifts they keep showing me cinderella going to the ball like all of a sudden something worked out intelligence look at that gave me some type of wisdom king of swords knowing how to move forward so if you guys have been stuck in some type of um situation you're gonna know how to move forward it's crazy how a lot of these um, pals connect in a way they're not completely the same but some of them do connect in my opinion not all the time but in this reading there's a lot of connections you guys are wising up i'm hearing you better shape up because i need a man grease intelligence shift your perception you guys could be learning something new and comparable and innovation yeah you guys could be creating something new Alchemy, manifesting, the magician. Yeah, you guys gonna be some of you guys could be building, creating something new for yourself. Something that's gonna bring you a lot of euphoria. Whoa. Success and happiness, those are big to me. Okay. Let's see what else you need to know. Fire. So that's creativity, that's passion. Psychic abilities that showed up for a couple, I think for oh, two people or one. I mean, two people, two pals or one. So you're definitely linked in. That's what I'm hearing. You're linked in. If you've been worried if 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 the divine hears your prayers, they can. And I'm telling you, they're taking you out of this anxiety, this stormy weather. You've overcome it. They're shifting you. They're moving you mentally, emotionally into a better state of thinking, a better state of being, new beginnings for you, Ankh. Creating life. You create life with what you think, what you speak, which, you know, everything, how you live. So they're saying, ask yourself, what are you creating? You have a horseshoe. You guys have good luck. A totally new way of, of being. What blessings are coming to option four? The fortune teller. Being open to possibilities and trusting your intuition to interpret the answers. Okay. The healers. You guys are healing. It says, you and possibly someone you care about need to be healed from the effects of past traumas before things can be resolved to your liking. So that's that unknown energy. We already know you're coming out of that. You're healing from that. You're healing from it. You're moving forward. It's beautiful. And as I said that, one of my dogs shook. And it's like, shake it off. You guys are shaking off anything that doesn't serve you. 
And you're stepping into a happier time in your life. A win-win outcome is for Cass. Boom. All we do is win, win, win no matter what. Got money on my mind. I can never give it up. Because every time I step up in the building, every time my hands go up and they stay down, that's what I just heard. Step out of your comfort zone. Follow your heart. Your dreams need a practical plan. So start writing things down. Start manifesting it. Start strategizing. Luck is on your side. You guys had two luck cards. So you guys have a lucky, um, you're in a lucky state of, of mind. That's a lucky state of mind. I want to say you're in a lucky place in your life. It's full of, um, I'm hearing serendipity. You guys will have some serendipitous events occurring. Well, look, one enchanted e evening. Honor your feelings. Don't run from them. Honor them. But don't dwell in them. Reveal what needs to be seen. So something is going to be brought to the light for you. Step in your power. So we have first quarter moon in Aries, last quarter moon in Scorpio. And we have take inspired action, full moon in Virgo. See, Virgo energy is going to be very big for you. You guys are going to be stepping into that energy. When you step into that energy, oh, things are going to get done. <laughs> things are going to get done. There's so many blessings for you guys. And, and you guys are just going to learn a stronger, I'm hearing stronger um, routine, stronger discipline, stronger schedule. Like you guys are going to be really um, transforming the way you handle things. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Strength. Ancient oak spirit. Find the strength to keep going. Wow. Retreat. Two other options at this card. So I'm going to put it back. Refuge. Enchanted fern grotto. And nature. Nature is going to help heal you. Stillness. Yet yeah, reflecting pool. Water spirit. Manifesting dreams. That's beautiful. And look. Guardians of the land. The stag. That's why it came out again. Trust and thrive. This is a guardian helping you saying, hey, trust and thrive. Keep moving forward. Even though you can't see the path, we have a lot of blessings along the pathway for you. Just keep moving forward. You're protected. So you have divine protection. What other blessings are coming to you guys? Energy, intensity, passion, and power. And we have caution. Keep your guard up. I feel like this is going to be dropping, though. That's strange. I just I don't feel like it's negative. Create. Nurture your creative energy. And we have rest. Give yourself time to recuperate. That's why that protection card is here. So if you've been worried about something or people, whatever it is you're worried about, it could be about anything, they're saying they're protecting you. Get rest. Give yourself time to recuperate. Take time to create. You have blessings, inspiration coming to you. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, create space within. So you guys have a lot of new beginnings occurring. Gratitude, appreciate present blessings. Yeah. You're always going to have more than enough is what I'm hearing. You will succeed. I'm hearing you will succeed farther than you think you will. In fact, I feel that you guys can be doing something very different compared to your family or six, or doing something that maybe they didn't get a chance to do. We have manifestation. What you desire is on its way. So whatever you're wishing and hoping and praying for is about to come. And I'm hearing them say, be careful what you wish for. They're saying it in a playful way. Like it's on its way to you. Like something, something good is on its way. This new life is really going to bring you. I'm hearing... It's going to bring you a new type of strength. It, it's different. 
it's you're really growing i can't really tell you how i'm seeing it it's almost like you know how when a kid goes through um puberty there's a there's a difference it's like man you know how you tell kids oh you're growing but when they hit puberty it's like man they're like damn near a different person and they don't they no longer want to you know be kiddish they want to try to be grown it's almost like a, a transformation, a major transformation is going to happen for you. And you're not going to be the same. It's like, oh, wow, they're different now. That's what I just heard. And not in a bad way. It's something good. Like you're releasing stress. You're manifesting your dreams. Your manifestations are speeding up. So you guys have the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. That's why they're saying let go of the sphere. Trust that things are going to be all right. If you have an altar, leave offerings at your altar. That would be helpful. That might bring you some type of peace is what I'm hearing. They're saying things are going to get better. You are smart enough. You are capable. You are more than capable. You are nurtured and you are protected by beings that you haven't even seen is what I'm hearing. And you're being guided towards your life purpose. So... You guys, this is very beautiful. Just attend to the details. Focus on the details. Stay focused, okay? Don't let anyone come in and knock you off your A game. That's what I have for you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm sending you all the best of luck and love. Have a happy, <laughs> have a happy holidays and God bless.